This video introduces a new feature of Power Builder 2019 R3 and how it can automate on premise deployment of Power Builder applications. The new deployment method of the upcoming revision of Power Builder 2019 R3 is called Power Client. It aims to solve the headaches associated with deploying and updating client server applications on premise. An example local area networks. It will no longer be necessary to create your own installation programs or to manually install and update Power Builder applications to each Windows desktop machine. The runtime architecture of the Power Client is exactly the same as a traditional client server application. All that has changed is the process of distributing the Power Builder application to users is now centralized. Specifically, all the application files are hosted on a web server that can be deployed on premise. And then the application is distributed from the web server out to the users. The file distribution will now be processed by a web server, for example, IIS. While the architecture of the application will remain as client server application, all the files will be synchronized to each user over HTTPS protocol. Traditionally, when you compile a Power Builder application using P code, Power Builder builds Power Builder dynamic libraries, PBD files. The PBD files contain everything such as visual objects, data windows, data stores, PowerScript code, and embedded SQL. All the PBD files must be installed to the desktop and work together to get the application running. The compilation with Power Client is different from the traditional P code approach. All PBD files are broken down very granularly into each individual object definition file. For example, each SRW, SRD, SRU, etc. would have its individual corresponding P code file that have new file extensions such as uh, DWO, APL, .fun, .win, .udo instead of a monolithic PBD files. Then each version of every P code file has a unique identifier so that when a user runs the client server app, the P code files can be incrementally downloaded and updated, depending on the function the user is accessing. So you will have and see that with the new compilation approach, it is enhancing Power Builder compilation of PBD files so that the Power Client's update routine can reliably and incrementally update this for client server applications. After the app compilation, the following types of files will be deployed to the web server. P code files that are granular in size, not the monolithic PBD format. The application.exe file and supporting files such as resource files, OCX files, and desktop runtime files. In example, PBBM. Such files are the same as in client server Power Builder applications. There will be dedicated configuration settings for developers to specify the supporting files that will be packaged and deployed with the application into the desktop. Although a web server is used, technically it is acting as a file server. In example, no code is executed on the web server. And the web server would typically be deployed on premise since these are client server applications. The Power Client will be initially installed by accessing the app URL in a web browser. After that, the app has no dependency on the web browser, type, version, or settings, but will run and update itself as needed over the local area network. Power Client is a fully automated desktop deployment solution. No code changes are required to benefit from this solution. You simply need to configure some deployment method, options, and the web server. Thank you for taking the time to learn about Power Client.